Yo guys, before I get into it, I'll just briefly mention that I'm going to be streaming on Twitch on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday in the evenings, um, 6 to 9 p.m. UK time. So tune in if you want. I'll be like quite schizo because <laughs> that's how I am on stream. It's a bit different from the content here, but yeah. Um, this game we went Conqueror, Triple Haste, Ignite Flash, just the classic that I've been going right now. And... Um, yeah, Axiom, Profane, uh, sometimes you want to go Edge and Knight third if you are ahead, otherwise you go Grudge and then you go whatever you want. It's kind of a fine build, lacks 1v1 potential, but yeah, let's see how this game went. We're going into laning phase right now. Notice how I haven't leveled up any of my abilities yet because it's good to wait until I need to. And of course we want to stand in our backline minions right there to get a spell. Now the wave's pushing towards me, so I can hit this minion. I make a bit of a mistake because I should hit the minions a bit more while he's on cooldown with his spell. Because he's pushing already quite fast, I want to kind of thin it. But instead, I just let it be, which is also kind of an okay strategy. And then I walk up to get that XP right there, that little step I did. He gave me that. And so now I have my Q. We just Q and we play it nice and slow. Zed versus Mage matchups. They're all pretty similar. Right there, I want to stand in my minions so that he hits me with me and the minions. And pushes it in. But yeah, if I thinned the wave a little bit more, I think I could have killed maybe one or two CS extra with my auto attacks a bit earlier. And that would have been a bit better because now he gets a decent timer, like a decent-ish timer to move. But either way, he doesn't poke you on the tower. And I managed to get a lot of the CS, which is a very big luxury. Because usually against mages, especially Huey, you won't get a lot of the CS in the early game. And you'll have to sacrifice um, the gold and only take the experience. This game's quite lucky where I'm able to get them, so yeah. But if you do fall behind in CS, don't worry. As long as you have XP, you can always come back into the game. And right there, WEQ. That's kind of fine, but I need to run away. And kind of play a bit more back. Q that minion, yep. And yeah, so this early game is nice and like boring, I guess. But this is basically how you want to play. Um, and right here I want to walk up the cannon because he used his spell on the wave. And just observe, like, when the enemy uses a spell on the wave, that means you can walk up and get a uh, last hit. Right here I go for a trade, which is not good, and then I flash. <laughs> I don't know, I was autopiloting because this game's from stream. But basically, you shouldn't fight level 3 to level 4, and I didn't realize he hit level 4 until I went in. And then I flashed away, so it's really troll. But then right here, I'm level 4 now, and he missed his spell, so we can do our combo, do our ignite, and run him down with Nimbus. And E him at the end, so we don't go for another auto attack. Instead, you E them when you know that you can kill them with one more E, and you're in range, or sort of close-ish range. You should use your E instead of your auto attack, because they can kind of flash your auto attack with their... Um... So if they see your, your animation of your auto attack, then they can flash, whereas your E is instant. And then right here, I have to stay, because I have Ignite, and, you know, I would miss all of these minions. But when you have to stay for a cannon minion... Uh, wave um, or in general if you have to stay for another extra wave it's good to just take the first three minions otherwise if there's a cannon then take the first four uh, with the cannon and then run away and try to base and just give up the last three minions so that's what I would advise you to do if you want to stay like an extra wave and then right here I just base and that's the first five minutes ish against way so I bought pickaxe and boots and I ran back to lane but I ended up taking a bunch of poke which is really bad and I'm considering to recall and just give this wave, but my team is coming and I know that it's a good opportunity to kill Huey because I have ult still and, you know, Tom Kench and Fiddlesticks, especially Fiddlesticks, has some good point and click CC and my health is low, so Huey is obviously going to agree. So we use the WE ult combo where he flashes um, or he throws a spear towards where you would appear with your ult shadow and not your W. So that's a good combo to use against Huey. I think I've been through it on previous videos as well. But the main thing is that when you do it really fast, especially the WE and you ult straight away, a lot of people don't react that you have a W there. You know, they don't really think about it. They just think oh, you're going to appear behind them, so they need to throw the fear. But then you take your W straight away. So the faster you do the WE ult combo against Wei, the better it usually is. And now as I'm running back to lane, I see my Fiddlesticks is level 6 and I'm pretty happy because he's ulting mid and it's so easy and unskilled to get kills with the Fiddlesticks jungle. We just give him the Q and then we get the assist. After that I shove mid and I'm considering going top because I can help Fiddle on the blue but also can try and kill Camille. 
And I Jax ran it down, but it's fine. I go in and then I realize I'm kind of a bit scared and I don't want to use ult or, you know, be too greedy and not use Ignite or something. So we just use Ignite like that and we run out of the tower range, use our Q. Because I'm pretty sure that it would kill her and it did. Alright, I'm going to show you guys what happens when you use your WE ult combo too slowly. So I WE, but then I woke up and it took so long to get my ult shadow, um, or to get my ult down on him. And he's able to time his fear accordingly. But thing is, if you do WE ult and you're in range and you can do it faster, then it's much more likely that he won't hit you. And also, um, I get lucky and kill him anyways, so yeah, Zed is broken. Okay, I'm going to show you guys some fun fiddlestick stuff. So I'm pretty low and I see fiddlesticks is by the wraith camp and he has ult. It's like a guaranteed kill in mid. This is why I love playing with Fiddlesticks. Um, <laughs> they also gank mid a lot, unlike other junglers. I missed the cannon, but it's fine. And I think I missed the local gold for that tower. I'm not sure. But either way, worth. So I end up shoving mid. And now I'm going to go down to flank the enemies. When I see this fight, I know that I need to go around to this area. Or this side, instead of going um, into the river. Because the goal is to cut people off. Unfortunately, Kog'Maw gets a kill, which is fine. We just go in. We don't need to waste ult, so we just use W. And I'm thinking to use my ult for mid lane as Lulu gets away. And as I come through back to mid lane, I tried to WW ult away, but then he gets away. However, I know he's on the left. I know my W is coming up in 5 seconds, and I have a ward there. So it's prob probable that he's going to walk through here. So we walk through. We have a ward, so it's nice and easy. Fast little WE ult, and then take the W. Make it as fast as you can, and I think it's better that way. You know, if you can get into range, make that combo really fast against Wei, and you're more likely to not get feared and kill him. Now I'm really fed. I almost have three items at 17 minutes, so I kind of want to fight. Uh, Viego uses the plant to appear, like at the rave camp, so we just use WW. Walk up, use Auto E, and then Alt, and then Q, Auto E. And I also hit a Q with my first W, and got my another W up, so... Yeah, using your auto E's in between, so auto E before your ult, and then auto E again after your ult is pretty good to do when you have Conqueror, especially. So we're about to catch Kog'Maw, but I want you guys to pay attention to how I am patient with my W. I know that Lulu is across the wall with Hui, so we walk up, use W, Q, E, but we don't go in for the extra auto attack and the profane until the Lulu ult is out. It's very important to do that, because if you get CC'd, you can die. Not only are you CC'd, so you're not damaging anyone, but, you know, your teammates might uh, also get CC'd, so it's very important to play it patiently and secure the kills. So my team ends up fighting without me, which is kind of sad, but I kind of still want to fight. I'm thinking about how to do this. So we get some conk sacks on the Viego, and then I wait a little bit, take the W, flash onto the Lulu, kill Lulu straight away, and then unfortunately I got hit by a Huey ult, and I also misplayed, so I should have focused the Kog'Maw instead of Huey right there. Because Kog'Maw's just like standing there and hitting everyone. <laughs> so yeah, if I focus Kog'Maw, it would be much better. But it was very good to go for Lulu initially. And then here we're having another fight. But Jax is on one side and I'm on the other. Very, very ideal flank positions for both of us. But then he gets CC'd, so I'm thinking he might just die. And you have to be very careful here because if Diego gets a reset on Jax, then you will die if you go in. So luckily we're able to kill him before he resets on the Jax. And then right here I juke the Hui a bit. But then Lulu comes out of nowhere and I got really surprised. I probably could have killed Lulu. And uh, yeah, I missed the cues, but at least we kind of win the fight. Now, as I'm running out of base, I buy my first pink ward of the game after five full items. I realize that Draven is most likely going to die. So I stopped pinging him back because um, he just ran in. But I'm thinking we could probably get kills though. And we use our W and then we ult. So we kill Kog'Maw, walk we'll up to Lulu, get another W, kill him as well. Here's another broken Fiddlesticks ult. So he sees Viego, he just goes in. He doesn't care that Viego ran, you know, two screens away. He'll still get caught because Fiddle 6 is broken. So now we push mid, we have Baron buff. Camille is shoving this bot wave. So if I run straight away, I'm pretty sure we're going to cancel his base unless he uses teleport. Although it will be pretty close, but Draven does have ult. I was hoping Draven would ult. But either way, we managed to catch him like this. And now I need to be a bit careful. So I'm just holding some spells. After he uses his um, ult though, I use all his spells, and then I see Viego, so we go in with WQW, auto E. Um, 
then use a flash to get to either way. I don't know, just looking cool basically. But against Viego right there, um, you do the WQW Auto E, and then you ult straight away because he's going to W straight away. And he didn't expect me to do that. Uh, we get a free kill. Or, I mean, I guess the game is over, so a free game, so to speak. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, we push and they end up surrendering. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. In